And all of these Northern California storms we continue to talk about have been a double-edged sword for our climate. The good news is that these were our drought conditions across the state back in September before those historic storms. The areas in dark red were considered to be an exceptional drought, and this is the new drought monitor just released today. So right now, no part of the state is considered to be in exceptional drought. So some good news there. But in California, Rangelands make up nearly two thirds of all the state's land. They are hugely important for our agriculture and water storage. But as meteorologist Brendan Minchef explains, this historic winter is a double edged sword. Rangelands you can think of as those big open landscapes that surround us um, all over the state. They are incredibly biologically diverse. They are such an important part of our landscape in California, yet they are also some of the most vulnerable to drought and climate change. You know, for rangelands, which is largely rain fed agriculture. Drought is um, always looming, as we say. Um, drought has really had a shaping force on these lands for, for millennia. Drought is really the, the, the rule rather than the exception. The, the amount of precipitation is important. I think we're good this year, but the amount is important, but um, also really critical is the timing of that precipitation for growth. This year in particular really showcases that where we've had a lot of rain, but it's been colder than normal. And that has actually limited grass growth. But water is in so many ways a double-edged sword. Not enough is a problem, as is too much all at once. Water sustains life and brings new life as well. And when it comes to wildfire, a lot of new plant growth followed by very dry conditions is a recipe for disaster. And rangelands can dry out quickly. Actually, there's been work showing that across the West, our worst wildfire years have been those drought years that actually followed really good years, so years with a, um, average or above average precipitation. When we have a really um, good productivity year from, um, from good rains followed by an, a, a drought year, that's when um, there's a lot of risk there for wildfire. But it's not just natural issues that rangelands need protection from. It's also people. We have a lot of urban uh, wildland interface areas and a lot of population growth. And so one of the one of the big, um, big challenges for rangelands is just the conservation of these lands. You know, there's a lot of threats, um, you know, with the increasingly variable climate, with these extreme events like um, severe wildfires and severe drought. Um, it's going to, you know, take, you know, all hands on deck, really, to think about how we can sustain and conserve these lands. And our Brennan Minchev continues to track the impact of our drought. You can find his in-depth updates every Sunday on the ABC 10 YouTube page.